All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And of course, thanks for subscribing. Truly appreciate the support. We're back at it with now what seems to be a wide rollout for hardware three of FSD 12.6.1, which under the code or under the un, from the Tesla perspective is actually 13.2.4. This is actually going out to both Cybertruck as well as um, the Model Ys and some Model 3s, Model S and Model X as well. For the Cybertruck, it's going to be proper version 13.2.4. But for the uh, people on Hardware 3, it's designated in the, uh, in the software release notes as 12.6.1, but designated within uh, Tesla's code as 13.2.4. Okay, so same release notes, same build for both versions for Cybertruck and for SX3 and Y, Hardware 3 for 2024, 45.25.15, and both designated as 13.2.4, but for hardware three, you see it as 12.6.1, probably because the feature parity isn't there. Cybertruck is gonna get all the features of version 13. Uh, hardware three cars are gonna get this incremental version getting up to version 13 of 12.6.1, which is an improvement over 12.6, the previous build. All right, so we're going to take it for a quick spin on our regression, half of our regression test path. Then we're going to go to the path to the areas that uh, FSD messed up last time, 12.6, in both the hill climb turn as well as the speed bumps to see how it does. All right, so we'll pop it up here right now. Once this car passes, we'll try to engage from the shoulder and activate. And look at that, it takes right off. It takes right off. I've driven with this off camera, so I, I can say that just for the first couple of drives that I did, it seems much more confident than 12.6 and a lot smoother as well than 12.6. A little bit more assertive, not aggressive, but more assertive is the proper word that I think uh, describes the difference between the two builds. So if you were complaining or upset that you didn't get 12.6, this is actually a much better build so far than 12.6 with some refinements and some of the addressing some of the issues that 12.6 uh, suffered from. So 12.6.1, you know, much better so far. First turn, excellent job, no problem, no issue here. We're doing this very simple path or half of this simple path just to be able to understand if there's any regressions between the two builds. I'll also give some insight into how it compares to version 13 proper, 13.2, 13.2.2 specifically, and go from there. Second turn, stages the turn nicely. Nice slowdown, doesn't go into the uh, shoulder. Nice mile an hour. And a car is there with the doors open. Good adjustment. Still smooth, but great adjustment. Excellent job there. Winding road. Is it going to put the turn signal on? It is. Still turn signal. So that's still an issue. If you have a road that bends to a certain degree, we still get turn signals here on version 12. Now again, version 12 is the name technically of what it says in the software build, but from a deployment methodology that uh, Tesla's using, it's still 13.2.4, just two variants, one for hardware three and one for hardware four. Winding road, no problem, good to go. Good distance from the curb. And now we're coming to our unprotected left. Here we go. Full stop at the limit line. All clear to go all around, can go straight through. Excellent job, excellent job. Kind of hesitated a little bit because I saw those pedestrians crossing, decided to go, which is the better course of action in that instance because they were so far away. But good job either way. Gonna add the trip real quick. I will pop out this one, go here, and we'll go. Um, I may want to disengage just to force it down a specific path, but let's see what let's see if what options it gives me as we get closer. Right, so we're gonna go here, turn left, nice smooth left. Great job. Everything is super smooth. If you're coming from 12.5.4, World of difference. This just adds the refinement, it seems, to uh, the city streets version. End to end is gonna be great as well. Game changing. Full stop. Good job getting out there. Good job making the turn. Great job. 
Good job clearing space with his car. Everything's super smooth so far. Once I get to this stop sign here, I'm gonna see if it gives me some different options. Otherwise, I might have to disengage just to force it. Good precision around there, not too close, but very precise. Double stops here, always stops. See what it does here. Stops fully for this one. It's a good job stopping for the next one. And we should be good. Let's see how it does taking turns with these cars coming down this road. Undivided road, has to take turns. That car seems to be pulling over or giving us some space, which is great. Car turning around the middle of the road. Slows down a little bit, times it nicely, keeps the momentum. Didn't slow down completely, just kept the momentum going. For some, that may be unsettling, but it just has that mode of like version 13 of wanting to always go. Dangerous intersection here. I'm gonna see if it gives me some options here to take a different route. If not, I'll, I'll disengage just to do it that way. Creeps up, full up, car on the, on the right coming. No cars on the left can go right after this one. All right, so it's not giving me the option here of taking the turn that I want. I don't wanna go up the, the, the uh, devil's backbone here. I don't wanna do that right now. I want it to go to the area where it struggled with the speed bump. So let me try to force it. Let me try to end the trip really quickly. Let me go somewhere else. Let me go to uh, Jersey. All right, let me try this one. There we go. Let's pop something else in there. All right, so now we should go down the areas where 12.6 kind of fell down, which is the turn up here, steep hill, kind of struggled, lots of hesitation in the yoke, creeping up, good to go all around, straight through. And then the consecutive speed bumps fell apart. Let's just test those and see how it does. Here we go. Full stop, steep hill, hard visibility left and right. Can make a go for it, go now. Cars are coming. Uh, still a little hesitant here. Still a little hesitant. But it's competent. Turn signal on. A little bit unnecessary, but turn signal on. You make the signal to go in there, you keep straight to go this way. So still some work to do here, not terrible. Didn't regress further than it was but still some work to do. Let me cancel this, go back to my other destination, see if it can route me around and we'll do it that way. Still going over the speed bump. So no regression so far, a um, little bit of progression in terms of the area where it fell down, but lots of progression in the overall smoothness and assertiveness and confidence that it's exuding over 12.6. So if you're a Model Y and you're just getting this, or a Model 3, you're just getting this, this is gonna be worlds better than 12.5.4, for sure. If you've had 12.6, this is gonna be an incremental step, better than that one. But if, you, if you've tasted version 13, you will see a little bit of the, the difference here uh, between the cohesion of the maneuvers versus what it's doing here. Speed bump, not slowing down. Didn't slow down for that speed bump. No good. Did not slow down sufficiently for speed bump. There we go. So that's not good. As I talk it up, it kind of let me down. Second speed bump, good. It usually nails the first one. I think that car kind of threw it off because it was so close to that car and maybe didn't see it. Sun is directly overhead, so no real shadow occlusion here. Good job on the second one. Third one, it usually falls apart. But seeing the cars here kind of helps it. So fourth one, it usually makes. And again, the cars are here, I think, to help it. But that first one, it, it, blew, it threw it off. A little harder than I would like. That was 13 miles an hour on this pretty big speed bump. It should have went down to like 9, 10. 
so it still can't make all four consecutive speed bumps just yet. See how assertive it is trying to get out there? Cars are coming. They're flying around the corner here. They're flying. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Another van. After the van, we can go for it. Make a go for it. Go now. Good job. Our ex is like falling apart. The accident, the ball bearing, and, and the headliner. It's all going downhill. Don't worry. She'll be back on her feet. No problem. Um, here's a here's poor lane selection here. Uh, we're in the left lane. We need to be in the right lane. And then it makes the lane selection back. Could have just stayed there. These are the unnecessary maneuvers that 12.6 had prior. They seem to persist in 12.6.1. Just unnecessary maneuvers based on the, the destination. Gonna turn in here really quickly. Hopefully nice and smooth. Coming in kind of hot. Whew, close to that curb. Now it takes it gets a little bit wider here, which is great. All right. Says 50, sign says 10. We'll register 10, and it doesn't register 10. So not registering 10, but still proceeding with caution, which is great. Speed limit still says 10. So this is like something broken in Tesla, maybe the navigation data, map data, something, speed limit data, whatever it is. It's not registering 10 mile an hour sign and it's still showing 50 miles an hour. However, the behavior of the car is the right behavior. 15 miles an hour, this is nice. Good job, sorry for the rolling. Turn in here, nice and smooth, super smooth. Turn signal on somehow, some way, where is it going? Is it gonna park? Is it trying to park, what is it doing? Whoa, whoa. All right, we're just kind of jammed up here. I'm gonna disengage here. We're just kind of jammed up there. Don't know what it was trying to do. I don't know if it was gonna back into a spot. Looked promising, but uh, didn't execute and someone's right behind us. All right, so uh, overall, I think that was pretty good. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments about what you thought about this drive. If you got 12.6.1 and you had 12.5, let us know your thoughts on the difference between that, those two builds. If you had the previous build, 12.6, let us know how you think it compares. So far, so good. I think this particular drive was pretty well. Um, our regression test path was was very rock solid, very much similar to 12.6, so no, re no major regressions just yet. One drive is no real basis of comparison, but it's a good understanding of uh, where we are off the bat. Still more drives, more data needed to be uh, had. Uh, and then in terms of the other areas where it kind of fell down with the left turn, still kind of struggled there, still wasn't as confident going to that left turn, that steep left turn. Um, and then also it fell apart on the speed bumps again, this time on the first speed bump as opposed to the last or the third speed bump like it did prior. So still some work there, still some issues there. Now, granted, the car is not the cleanest. Uh, we're not, <laughs> we have not cleaned our car just because it's about to go into service for the collision repair. Just waiting for the parts, so no sense in cleaning it that way. I did wipe down all the cameras, did recalibrate the cameras, but the car itself, I also cleaned over out in front of the housing as well, but the car itself is pretty dirty. Not that that has a bearing on anything, but it is what it is. You can still see out the repeaters. It's all good. Um, but yeah, so far it was good. So high levels of confidence here, high, level, high degrees of uh, great decision-making, poise, confidence overall is good. Safety, I felt safe. Uh, pretty much all safe, except for that first speed bump, obviously. Um, otherwise, yeah, pretty good, pretty good drive. So this is a really, a really good build so far. Um, I would say, again, still high taxi driver, not quite uber black. If you've been watching the videos for a while, I kind of moved the scale a little bit as we discover version 13. And as we understand where version 13 is going to go, possibly version 14 unsupervised, scale is now, has now moved. So if you watch previous versions and I said, hey, hardware, you know, hardware four, hardware three, got an Uber black, that all just shifts down a notch. So everything that got an Uber black before is now taxi. Everything that gets Uber black now, specifically for hardware four and using version 13 as a basis, gets proper Uber black and everything else gets taxi. So now this is a, still a high taxi, in my opinion, still really good, still really competent, but makes certain decisions that feels like a, a taxi driver where he doesn't really know where he's going, may make an impulsive maneuver from time to time um, that just doesn't seem right. Uh, but is not totally un uncomfortable, if you know what I mean.
Okay. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.